This is Dan from Dive Photo Guide here at uh, DEMA 2023 in New Orleans. And I am here with Robin from Backscatter at the very impressive Backscatter booth. Yeah. And we're going to go through some of their many latest products and talk about what they have here. So what, first of all, we start with the GoPro accessories that they have. Yeah, that's right. Hey, so, good to see you again, Robin. You too, Dan. Thanks for coming uh, by, man. So what do you have here? Well, you know, we're showing a lot of our foot filter stuff this year. Um, now we're up to foot 12, match the GoPro Hero 12. But basically the system is, you know, the same as it's always been. A modular foot frame that goes on the front of your GoPro brand housing and allows you to add multiple color correction filters or macro lenses of different powers to overcome the two main challenges the camera has, which is no manual white balance underwater and no ability to focus close enough for macro. So that's a simple way to overcome that. Add it on a double handle tray with a single arm and maybe one of our backscatter macro wide 4300 lights and a snoot, and all of a sudden you got a pretty capable, pretty versatile little GoPro Good rig. To go. yeah. Yeah. The cool new thing this year is what we're calling the Sharp Wide Lens Pro. So this is a wide angle conversion lens that goes, again, onto just the standard GoPro housing in a little bracket and expands the field of view up to 140 degrees while also drastically improving the image quality and you get that combined with the color correction filters that just slide right between it. So the best of all worlds for wide angle. Combined with the macro mini and this you have both options. Really get your GoPro fully capable for underwater, you know. Trick it out with a couple of lights. Really compact, but amazingly capable wide angle video system. Especially with the new GoPros, this is a amazing video rig. Crazy good. This is how a lot of people are starting their underwater photo journey. Awesome. You want to take a look at some other stuff? Yes, let's do it. So we've moved over here to another area of the booth where we obviously have a very nice setup with some cool little frogfish models which are basically there to display uh, your new, your flash, mini flash. Yeah, so it's really kind of the whole backscatter lighting system at this point now. So we've got our mini flash 2, right? So this is now the second generation of this strobe, which is a very compact strobe, basically purpose-built for macro lighting, designed from the ground up to work with our optical snoot, getting you one of the brightest snooted exposures possible. Pretty impressive from something that's just this size too. Easy to travel with too, uh, uh, these macro destinations. To yeah, shoot it, stuff like this. It's awesome. And, and now the Mini Flash 2 has all these new things going on with it, like automatic flash power for Olympus cameras, wireless remote control functionality. Crazy cool. Uh, you can do things with color filters on there, and now have a wireless strobe that's out placed behind your subject, backlighting it. You're controlling it from your strobe on your camera. Be as creative as you want to be. It's awesome, man. There's even an infrared filter for the strobe on your camera, so you don't even see the light coming from that strobe. It's just a trigger for this one. But then we also did our 4300 video lights. It's called the Macro Wide 4300. And it's got multiple beam patterns in it, so you got your wide beam, macro beam, and red beam. And of course, if you kick it into macro mode and combine that with the snoot, we get back to that same effect of just lighting our subject and keeping a nice black background behind it. And of course, we can add on our color filter system to either the snoot or either of the lights all around. So it's basically about just the maximum control of your light source and getting creative. It's really about like, you know, achieving a snooted look, that black background just lit subject in a way that's easier and more efficient than it ever has been before, while also giving you that opportunity to add creative, colorful elements into the shot and just make it fun and simple, you know? One of the keys to that also is the backscatter remote lighting muck stick. So this is something we came out with a little while ago that has a one inch ball mount on it, so you can adapt just about anything on there, any kind of strobe, any kind of light, even a GoPro for doing behind the scenes stuff. It's got a little sand anchor on it that keeps it from rotating and you can adjust the yeah, height so of that maybe anchor. we can't see that in the video, but this is basically done into the just dig into the sand. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so that's your way for doing cool off-camera lighting. It's got a little ring on it, so you just flip it off to you when you're not using it. Awesome. It's kind of the the main points over here. Maybe we'll go take a look at some Olympus cameras next. Sounds good. Do another nice-looking display. Uh, uh, what's new with Olympus? So Olympus just came out with a new TG7. Okay. It's a continuation of like the TG line. So we just had the TG6. Full disclosure, not too much has really changed with that camera. You know, for what matters to us underwater, it really just continues to be the best compact camera out there for underwater. It's got an amazing macro ability. You can add one of our wide angle lenses on it to get it out to 120 degrees or keep it versatile with the air lens where you can shoot macro or wide without having to change the optic. Basically, this is the most popular camera in the world for underwater photography right now. This is how everyone gets started. 
it's a great jumping off point, or it's a great thing to just stick with forever if this is what you're into and meets your needs, you know? So really can't go wrong with the TT7. That one has been super popular during the show. And then of course we've got the EM10 Mark IV as well. So it comes in two different colors, but we made our limited edition Octo print housing for it. This is where things get a little more serious. It's kind of an upgrade from the TG where we can now change out the lens on the camera and have dedicated prime lenses on here, or still just use our wet wide angle with conversion lenses and keep it simple. But now we've got manual exposure mode, we've got an LED flash trigger, we've got a vacuum system, we're getting a more full featured kind of camera rig here, you know. Moving down the line to the, to the interchangeable lenses and things like that. Right, right. Cool. And you know, we can even take that further with something like the OM1 in the AOI housing here. This is same kind of camera in terms of micro four thirds system, etc. But this is their flagship mirrorless camera, which has so many cool features and crazy good performance out of it. Not really that much bigger than one of these rigs when you get down to it, you know. So options for you at this level, which is really nice. Great. Yeah. So here we have another table. There's a lot of equipment on here. So why don't you explain to us a little bit what we have on this table? Here? You know, the cool thing about Backscatter is that we are the world's largest underwater photo and video shop, so we sell everything from all of our favorite, the most popular brands that are out there. So that's the cool thing about coming to the show is you get to see a lot of these things in person that otherwise are really just a picture on our website, you know? Yeah, there's certainly a lot here. Some of the cool stuff we talked a lot about this week is like the Sea Life Sport Diver housing for iPhone and Android smartphones. A lot of folks just want to use what they've already got with them, and it's a surprisingly capable housing. It's like actually really great. I spent a lot of time shooting that this summer. And we've been talking a lot about like this new housing from AOI. This is called their UHGPX housing. It's a Hero 12 in there, but with a 5-inch monitor built into wow, the housing. So a GoPro inside there. Yeah, so this is a GoPro setup, but with a screen that is bigger than even what some full-frame cameras have. You know, it's basically like having a monitor integrated into the GoPro housing. It gives you tools like focus peaking and uh, additional ways to check your exposure and the ability to click on and click off like things like our new Shark Wide Lens Pro. Really, really lenses awesome. fit onto this album. Yeah, they sure yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a really cool system to play with. But, and you name it, you know, crop sensor, mirrorless, full frame, SLR, strobe, video lights, we got it all to check out. So if you didn't get a chance to see us during the show, you can always find us at backscatter.com or just phone call away. We're always awesome, happy to help. Hey, it's always good to see you. And uh, thanks so much for explaining the food. And I'm sure you'll see plenty of this stuff out there in the field next year.